Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of Chris's Monday Morning Breakfast Thoughts. Today, we're not gonna really have breakfast. Today, we're having Tums. Uh, the reason we're having Tums is this weekend I ate something that just didn't agree with me at all. I think it had something to do with some whipped cream I ate. I think I might be sort of, I have always had a bit of a problem with milk, but I think this particular whipped cream that I've been getting is just, it's, it's taking me over the edge and it generally knocks me out for a couple of days. And the Tums seem to help me out a little bit. So today, rather than breakfast, I'm gonna have some, these are the assorted berry variety of Tums. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is, I, I sometimes think about this on Candy Critic. I think about like candy that helps you feel better. So like cough drops and you know vitamin C bears and things like that. So I don't really review them because that's sort of more of a medical thing and I think that's kind of weird for a candy guy to be reviewing a medical thing like on a, on a candy website. But I figured for the special episode of Chris's Monday morning breakfast thoughts where I'm not feeling well, I'm gonna try, um, I'm gonna review the assorted berry uh, Tums. From what I could tell, I'll put a whole bunch out. There seems to be three colors. There's a sort of off reddish one, a red one, and what appears to be a, a purple one. So there seems to be three different colors to sort of choose from. So I'm gonna try each one and see which one I like more. So we'll start with the uh, purple one. It doesn't really have a particular flavor of like a, a particular like berry or anything, but. Oh, it's kind of strawberry. Well, the package seems to have raspberries and strawberries, but I don't think anything else, so. We'll see what this sort of off-colored one is. Hmm. If I was to, to be a gambling man, I would say the purple is great. Sort of reddish ones, the more red ones are strawberry, and the sort of off-colored one is a raspberry. But they're pretty close and it's pretty hard to tell. But frankly, with the way my stomach is feeling, I don't really care about it, you know, working, about it tasting particularly good. I mean, they taste fine. I don't really care about the, it'd be neat if they had better flavors, I guess. I mean, we could argue that maybe Tums should put a little more stronger flavor so that way they're fun to eat. But at this point, I'm just hoping for the, uh, the, the remedy of this whole thing. So uh, the other thing I want to talk about that's happening here is uh, we were planning a trip to Singapore in the near future. And I've never been to Singapore except the airport. I've been in the airport a couple times. So uh, the reason that we're going is because I've always been in the airport and I always see kind of I always see treats with the merlion on it. And I was always, I wanted to see what this merlion was. And people always tell me there's all kinds of cool things. So if you, anybody out there has been to Singapore in the past, maybe you can tell me, uh, what, is, there any, is there any foods, any treats, anything that I should be looking out for? So drop a little line in the comments or uh, you can uh, message us on Twitter at Candy Critic or go to our website, candycritic.org. Let us know what we should be trying in Singapore. Well, the other thing that's coming up this week is uh, we have a Coca-Cola coffee. Uh, we managed to get, our, uh, get ourselves a can of this uh, crazy drink. Uh, it's a super caffeinated coffee Coke mix. And it's made by Coca-Cola. And we got ourselves a can of it and uh, we got a video. We did a live feed of our taping of the video last week, but we'll be posting the sort of edited, sort of more complete video uh, this Wednesday. And uh, what I do is I drink the entire can of cola really, really quick. And then I uh, try and sit down for 10 minutes without the energy going without going crazy with uh, all kinds of like extra energy and caffeine. So check that out. Uh, that'll be coming out on Wednesday uh, for Patreon people. You'll get that a little bit sooner. So if you uh, go to patreon.com slash candy critics, sign up there and you'll get to see the video probably tomorrow uh, in the news. Uh, the big thing that's happening, the internet seems to be exploding over the fact that Milan has opened up a Starbucks. Milan is sort of known as the sort of the house of Italian coffee. And everybody always says that, you know, Italian coffee has this sort of edge and everybody's sort of losing their minds over the fact that Starbucks is going to Italy, uh, particularly Milan. This, I mean, I've seen pictures of this coffee place. It looks kind of cool and kind of modern, so it's, it's kind of neat. But uh, I think it's this idea of uh, sort of purity versus, you know, sort of uh, what people like. So I figure they're opening up a Starbucks in Milan because people like Starbucks. I'm not a big fan of Starbucks, but people like it. So that's why you open it. But uh, people, the internet's losing its mind over this Milan coffee shop. So, you know, I don't know. I have no opinions on it. I don't really like Starbucks. I don't really like carb coffee that much. 
so I don't really care. But uh, let me know what you think. Do you think uh, Starbucks in Milan is that is that blasphemy? You know, is that gonna is that, is it, or is it you know is it fine? Is it something that they should be able to do? The other thing I'm noticing a lot lately, we've got a few articles coming up, and we posted a few articles about carnival food. A lot of the state fairs in the United States, and there's a few fairs that happen in Canada as well, uh, are happening now, and the, the, the carny food is coming out, so it's deep fried everything, and crazy concoctions, and things like that, so a lot of uh, newspapers and magazines are writing articles about their favorite carnival foods, so do you have a carnival food where you are? Is it particularly cool? Do you have one that's maybe nostalgic, or a new one that's kind of crazy? Of course, always let us know. And of course, fall's coming, pumpkin spice is going crazy. I'm still seeing more and more stuff about pumpkin spice, Starbucks pumpkin spice, everybody pumpkin spice. Uh, I believe I saw a thing today about, I didn't post it, but a thing about uh, pumpkin spice churro bits or something like that happening at Disney. So, I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Pumpkin spice is still at it again. It's still coming strong from like a gimmick that happened a few years back at Starbucks. It's now become like a global phenomenon, pumpkin spice craziness. So I guess we haven't seen the end of it this year. Maybe next year we'll see it. Maybe we won't. I don't know. I always figure one year it's just going to end. It's just going to stop. People are going to stop being interested in pumpkin spice, but we'll see how that goes. It's definitely not going to be this year. People are still going crazy about pumpkin spice. So I just want to remind you guys, as always, you can follow us on Twitter at Candy Critic or go to candycritic.org and find links to all of our other social media. Also, if you go to Patreon, you get uh, all of our videos in advance. You get a Friday video that's just exclusive to you guys. You get to help me decide what I'm going to be doing for episodes of Chris, Why Would You Eat That? As well as uh, you get to choose what I review on Thursday. So uh, if you could follow us, support us, that would be great. If not, we just love having you guys around. Always, you're always welcome to drop us a comment, send us an email, send us a thing on Twitter, whatever, a tweet on Twitter saying hello. Uh, so thanks for watching another episode of Chris's Monday Morning Breakfast Thought. Hopefully I'll be feel, feeling better next week. I won't be eating Tums. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.